So, ayan, we are back once again para sa ating Dream League Season uh, 11 Southeast Asian Qualifiers Playoffs Lower Bracket Round 1 between uh, TNC Pro Team and Warriors Gaming Unity. So, yung score natin dito, guys, is 1-1 na yung score nito. So, so ayan, Warriors we are back once again para sa ating Dream League Season uh, 11 Southeast Asian Qualifiers and Playoffs TNC, Lower TNC, Bracket TNC. Round 1 between uh, TNC Pro Team and Warriors Gaming Unity. So, yung score natin dito, guys, is 1-1 na yung TNC. score nito. So, ayan, we are back once again para sa ating Dream League Season 11 Southeast Asian Qualifiers and Playoffs Lower Bracket Round 1 Game 1, Game 2. Pan-1 na yung Shadow Demon. Shadow Demon. Even though, natalo yung Warriors Gaming Unity. Gaming Unity. Give it a break that game one natin. Shadow Demon. Napakalaki yung game. Especially up against this terror blade. Game one, game two. A lot of problems. Shadow Demon. Even though, natalo yung Warriors Gaming Unity. Sold Cup Gaming Unity. Give it a break. First thing down. This a terror blade. Pero may task. Napakalaki yung game. Especially up against this terror blade. So, kami nga pala. Game one, game two. A lot of problems. Shadow Demon. Game number three. Even though, natalo yung Warriors Gaming Unity. Sold Cup Gaming Unity. Give it a break. First thing down. This a terror blade. Pero may task. ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
Hmm. Pero, sige, pag-usapan mo na, balik mo na tayo dito sa ating game, mga parehoy. So, they decided, para sa TNC, they decided to ban out that uh, Darkseer and Batrider as well. But, once again, w WG Unity, in Warriors Gaming, natin dito, having oh, that team versus so, again. Pinaka so, tignan natin kung ano yung pang-counter nila dito. Will they go for that Outward Devourer? Outward Devourer is kinda good. P -p Pog na. Ah, uh, ano ba ba? Haskar as well. And yung heavy heavy burst damages natin, like, Lina, mga Lina, ganun, mga pero man. kung ka. Para sa side ng TNC, yung iba ba nila, kung ka. So, possible Why do you think so, kung ka? So, pwede pa sila mag-timber uh, offlane. Timber offlane. Pero I think, para sa timber offlane, medyo mahirapan lang siya, level 1 and level 2. Pero pag nag, once na nag-level 3 na siya, yes, yun fine. na. Mahira, mahirapan na siyang patayin sa lane. Especially with the help of the level 2 reactive armor natin. And tsaka pala, every time na walang metamorphosis tong si Terror Bell, is wala silang kill potential dun sa ating timber. So. I think for the side of TNC, they're planning to pick some range hero. Support pa rin si Kuko, di ba? No, guys. Ay, hindi na pa rin, Carl. Uh, position 3 na siya. Score mga tropa. 1-1 na tayo, mga boss. This is the game yeah. 3. Ito na yung ano, final game nila. Mm -hmm. Kung sino malalaglag. So, para sa side ng Warriors Gaming Unity dito, they still have a lot of options. Para sa kanilang last pick dito. Pero sa TNC, they are the ones on that last pick. Yes. Sila naman yung counter. may counter dito. Pwedeng-pwede lang kontrahin yung mga heroes dito ng Warriors Gaming Unity. May mga pang-contra dito kay Shadow Demon. Oracle, yan. Mga ganyan. Ano? Oracle, kontra ka nga dun. Kontra-kontra ka ba dun? Kontra ka Shadow Demon. Kapag pinalas promise mo, ito dun mo nag-purge lang, hindi mo may heal yun. Kasi kada na nalagyan mo ng purifying claims, nade-debuff lang. Eh? Nang demonic purge. Diba continuously debuff yung demonic purge? Continuously debuff na ba yung ano? Continuously debuff yun. So, di ka makapaglagay ng mga purifying claims. Akala ko, yung pagkapag pagkapalo lang ng demonic purge that time yun lang yung madi di ba kung mga so binawasan mo pa yung kampe mo kasi di ba yung yung damage ng damage kawas mo nai tas yung buff yung heal eh wala yung buff na heal binawasan mo pa so ayan pag na is gonna be picked up para sa side ng warriors gaming yun di ba i think this pag na rubik mid so eto rubik mid di pa ring armel dito i think pag na mid tay Yes. Pag na mid, potentially, ah. Tapos, try rin itong, ano natin, Juggernaut Shadow Demon together with the Lich. They have the counter for the Steamber, so, yung spell still ni Rubik. Oo, yung Chakram, yan. Pero, tignan mo, ah, hindi pa pumipick dito yung Warriors Gaming Unity. They are still thinking. Ata yun na nga, diba? Pag na, ang magiging middle lane. Kasi ang pangat, pag dinuwalin mo, pag itong pag na, left alone dito versus the... Dazzle natin. Pero para sa side ng TNC, si Dazzle kasi hindi pwedeng walang kasama to eh. So, it's gonna be the 2-1-2 setup sa kanila. Pero tignan natin ha. Kung possible pa rin naman na si Kuku, pwede siyang lumin up against this Timber. So, Et, masaya to si Timber. So, kapag <coughs> dalawang heroes excuse me, lang excuse yung me, patapat yan. niya. Ano ba pick yan? <laughs> Easy lang guys. Actually, maganda rin naman yung structure ng drop nila dito. Ah, dyan, may, may disable sila, may magic damage sila, may pang clear sila ng creep wave ngayon. Unlike yung game 1 natin, wala. Yung game 2, medyo sloppy yung nangyari sa start ng TNC. Actually, ah, all throughout this series, yung start ng TNC, napaka, napaka pangit lagi. Hindi umaayon sa kanila. Napaka one-sided lagi. Eh, Oo. Early game. Laging lumalamang tong paring tropang Warriors gaming unit natin. Almost laging... Uh, Best of 3 to, guys. <laughs> Oh, yan. Pangkapangalan ni Carl. Ay, kala ko pangalan. <laughs> Carlo, pal Carlo pala. Carlo. Carlo palad pala si Kuko. <laughs> Kinulang lang ng <laughs> ilaglag na kasawa na hero ng TNC. Walang mga tanke. Yes. So, Wala silang frontliner dito. For the side of WG Unity, it's going to be Felix Chava for his Shadow Demon Bello for his Timber Saw, Nico Baby for his Juggernaut again, nothing to say for his Pugna, and Kang for his Lich King. Para sa side naman ng TNC, si Ninja Boogie playing as the Witch Doctor, Tims playing as the Sven, and Kuku playing as the Dazzle, Gabi naman para sa kanyang Terror Blade, and Armel para sa kanyang uh, Rubik. So, guys, ito lang yung masasabi ko sa draft nito. Para sa TNC, they need timing para ma-shutdown tong Timber Saw, kasi hindi mo naman basta-basta ma-shutdown yan early on. Especially you don't have the means. 
At eto, he went for that triple mango. Actually, buti na lang na nerf nga tong regeneration ng mango eh. Dati eh. 1, di ba? 1, then naging 0.7. Then binawasan pa. Kaso nagmura siya. Oh, pero yan, teams are coming. Ay, teams. Tips are coming out. For the both teams natin. So, they're just having fun right here. But I don't think TNC, ha? Parang sila yung napipressure dito all throughout this series, eh, no? Kaya nga, hindi nila binan yung, ano, no? Shadow Demon dito. Hindi ko rin alam, ha? Pero, nandiyan naman si Armel. Yung spell steal natin. This ain't no snowball fight. Hindi ganun kalawak hero po ng TNC. Well, nasasabi lang natin yan kasi natatalo sila eh. Pero, TNC pa rin to guys. Relax lang kayo. Hinahanap pa nila yung tempo nila eh. Parang si Kuko kasi. Although, sige, si Kuko yung original. Pero, galing sa break kasi itong mga to eh. Wala silang practice actually nung uh, time na chonking major tayo. Oo, oh, nung nasa chonking major sila, wala silang practice nun. Imagine mo, ilang, ilang linggo yun. Almost one week lang din. I mean, ilang days. Oh, pero eto. Tignan natin. Middle lane matchup natin. So, it's gonna be the Rubik versus Pog na dito. I think lamang dito si Rubik. Especially, he does have that paid bolt. Minus damage. Uy, nag-miss pa nga. Napaka-malus naman. Pero... May decro naman siya. Tumatol this Rubik din. For that last hit. And deny. Pero eto si Nico Baby, ha. Eto. Favorite na favorite niya itong Juggernaut par. Lagi ko talaga nakikita sa Juggernaut. Kita mo naman, napaka-outstanding ng play niya dito sa Juggernaut. Napaka-discipline mag-Juggernaut. Oo, oh, but eto si Teams. Gonna help out this uh, Dazzle dito. Kung si Ninja Boogie, mabibigyan na naman ng 5 stars <laughs> na naman ng Shadow Demon. Are we gonna see a repeat of that game number 1 and game number 2? <laughs> Parang repeat na repeat. Kamu, ginaganyan lang siya ni Xiao ba? Diba? Kasi pagawa. <laughs> Gaya ng ba? <laughs> Oh, support lang mga par. No hate. Wala eh. Tao lang din ito mga ito eh. You don't expect din to see a flawless game. Diba? May magkakamalit, magkakamalit. Kaya nga medyo enjoy yung esports. Kasi hindi mo alam kung sino yung mananalo. Laging ano eh. Lalo na ngayon. Medyo close na yung mga teams. Pero bottom lane natin dito. Glitch and together with the juggernaut. So actually maganda yung ginagawa dito ni Sven. Oh, shield will be committed here. Oh, tsaka yan yung reason bakit siya nag-boots item dito. Ah, si's first item para kay paring teams. So, ito. Tsaka yung, ano pala, ah, uh, not to mention pala yung shadow wave ni Dazzle, ano yung para kay Nico Baby. Kasi yung timing ng last moon, hindi mo na nalasit ng maayos eh. Gawa nung additional HP. Puntik na dito si Pog, nasa middle lane. Oo, pero si Armin. Cooldown lang yung Fade Bolt. Meron siya manga doon. Oo, may manga siya doon. Pero ito, Salve has been used naman na. Pero ito, dinodoib na ni Timbers. Oo, itong si Tower Blade. Level 2 na Blade. Level 2 pa lang yan, ha? Timbers lang ito. And, magkakaroon ka na ng fortification. And, nag-beast yung whirling death. Katabi mo pa yung puno, par. Ayan na, level 3 na. Si Parin Belo dito. He's gonna have that extra point on that reactive armor, I think. And ito, ito pa yung one of the downsides itong lineup ng TNC. They cannot deal with this timber so early on. They need some levels for their side. Pinakailangan na dito is the Rubik. Yes. To deal with this timber so. Pero pag na, continuously harassing this Rubik with that Nether Blast. But the Nether Ward has been used na rin just to zone him out. Pero ito na yung salve. Oh. Coming out, but they're driving to this terror blade side will be used, but here comes the cast Just to stun him Ay, And ba, bottom na lane ba? Sa bottom lane It's going to be the shadow demon rotation Oh, pero wala siyang ano dito Tamang poison, poison lang pero Ang maganda kasi dito, sa nangyayari Para sa WG unity dito Once na masecure na yung lane it timber so early on Pwede, pwede na siyang lane. E1 Yes, ayan, kita mo naman si shadow demon Nagrotate na sa bottom lane So, mas mahirapan pa dito yung dual lane natin para sa side ng TNC. And Juggernaut, yung naka-first blood, it's a huge kill. Pero middle matchup natin ha, pretty even lang in terms of last hit. Hitting the level 6, ayun ang ano na lang dito. Para lang magkabigayan sa middle lane. Lalambot din yan sa Dazzle mamaya. Oo, lalambot din yan. Easy lang. Hahaha. Sabi ni Marvin Santos, di masaka. Yan, okay lang par. Sige, lipat ka na. 
<laughs> or ito, nakakuha ng Arcane Charmel. It's a good rune na actually, meron din siyang healing salve. Oo. Oh. Pero uh, stop play natin ha. Si Ninja Boogie dito, is, he is struggling to get his levels dito. Pero yan, yeah, level 2 na siya dito. 4 minutes. He's gonna have that maledict possibly. Pero I think kahit mag maledict siya dito, wala eh. Ang taas na nung level ng timber dito. Hindi na enough in damage. Oo. Oh. Pero uh, ito nga yung sinabi-sabi natin dito. Si Armel, he needs to make the most out of this uh, Rubik last pick natin. To help his teammates out early on. Kasi lagi na lang sila yung nalulugi sa early game eh. Well, this time tahimik yung early game. Mm -hmm. And 5 minutes in, ito na, bounty rune. And basta secure ni Ninja Boogie with the help of that cast. Yung rune sa top. Pero it's going to be 3 uh, three for 1. Ito pa. Disruption will be committed onto this spent Blade Fury together with this Frost Shield to slow him and the damage coming out from Juggernaut. It won't be enough, ah, but that Shadow Poison oh, will level be enough. One, level 1 pa lang pala yung Shadow Poison. Pero 4 stacks na kasi yun. <laughs> Ayan, oh, shout out kay Robin Tambanillo. <laughs> Ayan, AC, what's up sa'yo? Magandang hapon. Pero uh, top lane natin. Ha? Si Gabi, ano level ni Gabi? Level 5? Level 5. Uh, okay. Okay naman siya dito. Iniwan na rin siya ni uh, Ninja Boogie dito. Oh, kasi wala. Wala rin uh, i-offer dito yung... Rotation coming in from the side of ENC. Ito na Ninja Boogie with that cast hitting this bug na ito with that storm hammer and that maledict and the fade bolt to secure those two. Oh, kasi wala talagang gagawin si Ninja Boogie doon sa top lane. Ang pwede niya lang gawin doon is mag to keep pulling para magkaroon siya ng XP. Kasi lang talaga to. Disruption. Tapos kuha ng illusion. So, harassment. Apat na illusion. Pero at the same time, bottom lane na bigyan si Kuko dun ah. Oo. Oh. Yes, na naglaga na to mga pare. So, Frost Shield and Blade Fury again. It oh. is doing the work. Tignan anong level na na iparing Kuko dito. So, ayan. Medyo nag struggle dito si Kuko. Kasi sobrang hirap nga ng lane nila dito eh. Pero eto, naglagay sila ng Sentry Wars. Uh, anticipating na may... Vision dito, yung Warriors gaming unit din natin dito, pero wala. Ito, top lane rotation ha. They have three heroes here, and mm. they're bringing Armel here. Meron siya Nether Blast dito. So, they have the magic damage to oh. deal with this team. Ka I think kaya nilang patayin siya. Wala eh. pa siyang Bracer dito, so wala siyang magic resistance. Yes. And level 6 pa lang siya, mag-level 6 dito. Here comes the Stormhammer. We'll connect onto this uh, Shadow Demon. And the damage is enough. Mm, so, pero wala nang mana dito si paring Armel natin yan. So I think magbabak na lang siya dito. Ng gunk na yun. Oh. <laughs> But I think you're gonna be okay with that because it's support, right? Yeah, support. support in exchange for a rotation. It's not that big. But uh, ito, a middle lane rotation. na naman. Kuko, poison touch will connect. Tignan natin kung aabot pa si Armel dito. Pero, Pero wala, wala, wala nang follow up par. And ito, here comes the counterplay. Life drain. Disruption will connect. Frost shield to slow him up. Maledict will connect. The cast will connect as well. Fade ball and another blast. The damage is too much. So, it's going to be one for one trade. Oh, kaya lang hindi magandang trade yun. For the side of uh, TNC, a Dazzle, getting traded for this Shadow Demon natin. At not to mention yung Juggernaut natin. Having the best time of his life dito sa ating bottom lane. This time eh, ang ganda lagi ng start ni Nico Baby. Yes, he's gonna go straight for that Battle Fury. This time around. Hindi siya magag... Hindi siya... He's not gonna go for that Yasha early on. Yan. Maraming salamat, Ronald Manansala, for the 50 stars. Doon sila muna. Oo, oh, tama ka dyan, parin, Brams. Mas ramdam ko sila sa aggressive. Aggressiveness nila. Parang mini BP nga, di ba? Yung ini-interview si Kuku. Sila daw yung mini BP. Kasi nga yung BP, sobrang aggressive Pero din. Pero ito, counterplay. Only that's just available. Warcry, I think it wouldn't be enough to save this is Pen Blade Fury together with this Frost Shield. The magic damage, it is enough. Level 3 Blade Fury yun, ha? Kasi nga level 4 na. Oo. Oh. So, ito nga lang yung problema. Ito, top Uy. 10. Yun, nasecure nila yung kill with this Timber. So, with that wording that stolen oh, and bug na Nether Blast to secure the kill onto this WD. And he needs to TP out from this one. Yes. Na, Sobrang sakit itong Rubik, ha? DD damage and the Whirling Death. Level 2. Tsaka level 2 na yung Arcane Supremacy niya dito. Yes. Mas matagal yung ano na to, yung... Yung effect nung Whirling, Whirling Death. Death. Yes. Hindi ko ramdam. Yan. Pero hindi ko baby dito. Si, top 1 network, top earner natin. Para sa game na naman na to. Sobrang Lagi to, ha? Parang 
Pwede nang bigyan ng employee of the month to. <laughs> 59 last hits. Oo, pag natalo TNC, boss, naglag na sila. Yes, naglag na. Uh, salamat, Caster. Hey, yo, bro. Hey, yung tet, oh. How you doing, bro? <laughs> Yan, tsaka shoutout sa kasama mo nanonood, Carl. Yan, what's up sa inyo? Ito na naman yung rotation coming out from this Rubik. Pero andito yung rest ng support ng WG. Oh. Alam nila na si Team Person na ang target dito. So, they're protecting this Team Person. And here comes the disruption onto this Rubik. Stolen Chakram. But Warcry. nandyan si Teams. To zone them out. Uh, to to make that counter thing. Delegate sa dito with that Pro Shield. Ito, Stormhammer will connect. Another Chakram will be available in 2 seconds. Pero mo hindi nalang i-chase out to. The Nether Ward. Ayun yung target nila dito. And here comes the rest of the heroes from the TNC. Four heroes on the top lane. Deck-reflect-fly-and-save-deck-with-that-nipe-drain-and-here-comes-the-two-nipe-drain-and-here-comes-the-two-nipe-drain-and-here-comes-the-two-nipe-drain-and-here-comes-the-two-nipe-drain
Pero eh, ito. Ito na si Heroes 4, Heroes rather. 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 Ito na si Heroes 4, Heroes kahit sabi mong mag-commit sila ng meta, then they are gonna decide to push out one lane. It's gonna take more than that for them. Kasi especially up na yung, ano dyan, Chain Frost. Andyan din yung Blade Fury. Andyan din yung Team Verso, di ba? Ito pa rin downside for this spend. Hindi niya pa rin masave yung teammate niya with this Warcry pag na Demonic Purge. Oo. So, wala. Madi-dispel yung Warcry ito. Stormhammer ito, may nakahuli na naman, Demonic, ah, this ramp will be used onto this WD Chakram, will connect, pero nandito naman na yung Warcry, at the same time, Rubik is here, Netherward is doing the work, kailangan nilang masira ito, and I think papabayaan nila. Pero, ah, Kuko dito, it's gonna go for that Midas, kailangan nyo talaga, kailangan nyo talaga itong Midas na ito, especially, he needs to be able to catch up in that network, in terms of network natin. Tignig naman naman, he's sitting on a, Bottom 6 pang, pang anim siya dito In terms of network natin so, They're trying to delay this push At the same time Gabi Going for the trade Tier 1 tower Nakakuha nyo dito Sa top lane Sa side ng Double uh, Jacob The obvious dash To secure the kill Of the WD They're going for more Dazzle will fall as well Onto that nether Blast And chain boss Will be used as well So maybe it's time To go back For the side of WG Unity So, ito na yung problema na kinakarap ng TNC ngayon. Like nung nga nung sinabi ko, hindi nila kaya yung 5-man itong WG unit dito. Even if, dalhin mo yung Terror Blade mo dito, it's not gonna be enough. He needs that BKB to join his teammates. Para maging untouchable siya dito. Probably 20 minutes, Dagon will be up on this team. Ako, ayan pa yung problema. Yung burst damage coming up from the WG unit. So, si Gabi mamaya, mapapaisip siya dyan pare. Kung magpapap ba siya agad ng BKB once he does have that BKB. And yung Demonic Purge natin, pati yung Soul Catcher. Kita mo naman, may minamax out dito ni Shadow Demon yung kanyang Soul Catcher. Diyaba nyo dyan yung unit. At ito, nakakorap dito si Gabby. Disruption, Soul Catcher. May connect on same time with that Demonic Purge. And he's trying to sander him. But here comes the Sinister Gaze. Pero na-successful pa rin yung sander niya. But the same time with the bottom lane is Ben. Kita mo naman ha, two supports lang yung guma, gumagank doon sa ating uh, terror blade. Pero yung damage, sobrang sakit. Uh, I think kung may, may, chain, I think may chain, pros. chain pros doon, pwede pwede siya mamatay doon eh. Hmm. Nawala ng PKX and Tactics, sad TNT. <laughs> well, uh, tignan natin if they will manage to come back to this one. During dito sa ating rough start for the TNC squad natin. Pero uh, ang problema lang kasi dito kay Rubik, He's gonna fall short dito sa ating early game natin. Especially pag hindi kayo yung nasa lead. Oh, sila yung nasa reactive lagi dito, yung TNC. So, he's looking for the bounty kill na lang dito for this early. And ang pwede lang gawin ng TNC eh, as of this moment is to trade towers. At ayan nga, nakakita nyo naman. While uh, WG Unity is pushing that middle lane, nakuha yung tier 1 tower dyan sa top lane. Well, uh, Pero uh, hindi magandang uh, trade yun. Coming out from this TNC, they're going on the backside, trying to kill this move na first. Here comes the Telekinesis, Stormhammer will connect to save the Chakram and All hold right. another blast. Like, it's time to retreat for this team first of all. Oh, I think TNC dito, they will capitalize on this one. And into going into that tier 1 push into yes. this bottom lane natin. But I think kayang i-prolong uh, to ni uh, Team Perso itong push na to. At ito na nga, yung rotation coming in from the side of WG. They want Pero to fight this one. To fight this one huh? And here comes the chakra to delay this push. Team Perso to tank this uh, creeps. Pero backline, si Kang. Si Kang oh. nabigyan dito sa backline. Na Oo, oh, nahuli siya doon. And here comes the Dragonesis. Paladic will connect at the same time. Wala silang pang-hold dito for that Maledict. Oh, pero nandiyan yung healing ward. Disruption will be used on this double duty but the Blade Fury is here. Trying to kill this... Ayan na, nag-sander na yung Terror Blade dito. Pero hindi enough yung buha niya dito. He will still fall at the same time. His Ben will fall as well. They're trying to chase for more and deeper. So, magiging trade dito. But that the Gamplify coming out from Pugna. Uy! Okay, kala ako. Napakaganda ng Decrepify. <laughs> Na-save niya yung teammate ay yung kalaban niya doon. Ayan, ayan. Tips are, ca tips are coming out from the side of TNC. Kaya nga lang yun nga yung sinabi ko, pare. 
yung TNC dito, hindi kayo basta-basta pwede mag-push as 5. Even though, wala yung leech kanina dun, ha? At saka yung Fog na is still down for the count right there. Yung TNC, hindi pa rin nila nakakuha yung uh, tier 1 tower natin sa bottom lane. Sabi ko sa inyo, parang TNC. You just have to keep doing what you were doing before. Like, you're just gonna be on the reactive. Tsaka like yung mga pick up na yon, yung wrap around smoke, knowing na yung other team nitong, other heroes nitong WG unity natin, is on the other side of the map. Sobrang ahead in terms of oh. items na tong WG. Pero pag 5v5 talaga, there's no chance for this TNC as of now. Malipik ng hero, or mali yung position nila, or mas nasaan. <laughs> Relax lang, tapos na first 10 kids, pwede na rin, okay, kakambak na, it's time mga guys, TNC, got this, pero Armel dito, actually, pag nakuha ni Armel itong Aghanim's pickup niya dito, it's gonna be huge for them, there's a lot of uh, spells for him to steal on this game, nandyan yung Demonic Purge, yung Soul Catcher as well, diba, yung burst damage sa Soul Catcher, Chain Frost, Only Bounce, Life Drain, Only Life Drain, yan, but yung sinasabi nating timing na yun Patagal pa Ayan, 3k gold Gold away from his Aghanims pa At ito pa si Gabi BKB pa yung timing nila dito To be able to fight off Against this WG unity At WG unity dito Hindi na nila patatagalin pa They're gonna go straight for that Roshan And potentially into the high ground push Pero Sanchen niya siya May status resistance ba yan? Yes, meron. Ah, 16%. Warm-up ng TNC ito para sa kaming minor. Sobrang brutal naman yan, pare kami. It's going to be a free rush. And Aegis is onto this Juggernaut. Yes. Pero ah, si Juggernaut dito. Medyo may hinapan na sila patayin itong Juggernaut dito for the side of TNC. Uy! Ninja Bogi trying to juke this one out, pero hindi siya makalikas dito. Here comes the Pro Shield to secure this kill. The slow coming out from this bridge. And eto pa, TNC dito, they are not very good on split pushing. Yung only split push lang nila dito is yung Terror Blade. At di ba sila ready dito sa teamfight na to? Wala pang big ABC Terror Blade dito. And here comes the high ground of them coming out to the side of the WG Unity. Stormhammer will connect onto this Juggernaut. So, kailangan masakapan ng bad juju dito ni Dazzel bago nila labanan ito. And it's been a burst out too, no? So, a quick buyback coming out from this is Penn and WD will be up in one second. So, eto na. They need to defend this one. It's going to be a free tower. Here comes the stock from the bad juju. And I think babak sila dito knowing na si Mr. Gabby is on that middle lane cutting that creep wave. Pero WG Unity, they're gonna be okay with this one. Especially, they take down that middle tower natin. At kakakuha na ng Roshan, so they have plenty of time. Yes. For the Sages. Pwedeng-pwedeng yung gawin lang ng WG Unity dito is to keep farming and build their advantage here. Kaya lang, para sa WG Unity, mas okay kung tapusin agad nila itong game na ito. Especially yung Dazzle natin. Makikita mo naman nung game number 1, yung strength ni Dazzle, having that level 3, bad juju, yung cooldown, 50%. Sobrang OP <laughs> sa late game. Kahit matali. Diba, smoke play, nag-aanda sila dito ng mag-a-defend sa bottom lane. Pero Pugna is not here. It's only the illusion, illusion here to defend this bottom lane. Oh, at eto. I think alam nila dito kung ano yung nangyayari dito sa kanilang bottom lane. At eto. Na-scan out si Gabi dito. At the same time, nagigitin na lang yung heroes ng WG dito. So, alam nila mag-isa lang to. So, they might go for the skill. At ano na, nasapatan nila. Daytime to. Pag nalubog to par, wala pa tong BKB. Netherlands is up at ito na team burn. So, pero ito, nasapatan nila. It's going to be a WG. Na burst down. Oh. Now, with the deck of Clare. And that attack on level 2. I think, ha, nagkamali ng daan si Xiao ba dun? Na, following the Terror Blade spot. Kung, o, kung sumalubong siya, like yung ginawa ni Belo. Pero eto, ha, Uy, hindi ko baby dito. Managing to get that uh, range rocks na. So, tingin si dito. Medyo nanganganib yung game, game number 3 nila dito. Oh, set of praxis na to pare ko eh. 
at yung uh, juggernaut natin is getting out of control uh, sitting on 15k network na dito 24 minutes into the game at ayan may 4k na in the bank so I think possibly pwede tayo makakita ng uh, butterfly once again di ba? Actually, yung ideal target para sa side ng WG Unity to start things off with is yung ma-pick off yung Dazzle from the very start. At ito pa, si Velo. He's gonna go for that teamfight item. So, he's gonna go for that Lotus Orb. So, medyo mahihirapan pa mag-target ng Sander to si parang Gabi natin. Sandahin na lang yung skill dito na which is single target actually. Oo. Poison touch, that... Oo, yung Rubik lang yung kanilang pang-clear ng creep wave dito. At kita mo naman, at ginagawa ng WG unit WG unity dito they are cutting off this creep wave on this bottom lane preventing preventing that one from pushing in but uh dito sa top lane naman si uh, Gabi trying to do what what he can kita mo naman oh kinakat niya lang yung creep wave dun sa middle lane ah okay yun pero atin na natin TNC kung uh, kaya ba nilang i-hold tong high ground nila dito Pero may buyback naman dito. Decent naman of buyback sa Rubik. Ayan. Pero wala pa rin. Wala silang sagot dito. Nako, Gabi! Oh no, TNC! So I think this might be the game na dito para sa ating series na to. Yes, and wala na. TNC, you don't have the heroes, set of heroes, right set of heroes to fight off against the mega creeps. Wala kayo yung mga empower, pero medyo mahirap pa rin. You're up against mega creeps at ayun na nga, XD na lang ang nasabi dito ni Gabi. Napa-XD na lang. So yun, good luck further para sa ating WG Unity's Warriors Gaming Unity victory dito sa ating game number 3 and they're gonna move on to that lower bracket round 2 yeah, so,